From MTN and MontanaSports.com, this is Sunday Night Sports. Hello, everybody. If you were with us last Sunday, you heard Montana Tech head football coach Chuck Morrell say he preferred recruiting multi-sport athletes out of high school, those who didn't focus on just football. The idea of specialization is one of the biggest topics of conversation surrounding youth sports. Last May, the MHSA pointed to a study that found young athletes are 70% more likely to suffer an injury if they play a single sport year-round. And some of Missoula's best are listening. Here's MTN's Derek Berkeley. Missoula Hellgate guard Raleigh Worcester made news before his sophomore season even tipped off. He gave a very early commitment to play basketball for the Montana Grizzlies. But even with a bright future already mapped out, Worcester spends the fall suiting up for a different group of Knights. I love football also and uh, I mean they both help with each other like the physicality of football helps on the basketball court. It's just good to go out and compete in something maybe you're not as good at and just keep that competitive edge going. People come up to me and say it's really remarkable what he is doing. He knows he's got a college basketball scholarship yet he plays almost every down in football. And you know, I, I tell them that that's just who he is. He wants to compete all the time. Worcester is one of several college-bound stars in the Garden City that found multiple ways to show their athleticism. Across town at Sentinel High, Shelby Swain had a tough choice between volleyball, basketball, and track. So she picked all three. Whatever season I'm in is which sport I love the most at the time. Um, I mean, right now it's basketball, but I know the second track rolls around, it's going to be track. Swain's basketball teammate Ashley McElmurray will go to Nebraska on a track scholarship. But hoops and soccer also gave plenty to the Spartan. I think for me, it's just like having a lot of opportunities to be able to compete. I mean, I get to be on a great team surrounded by other great athletes, and so it's a really cool experience. The multi-sport athletes we talked to praise the benefits of their busy schedules. They also didn't fear a potential downside. What happens if an injury in your second or third sport kept you from playing your top choice? The potential worry never crosses their minds. Schwein injured her knee in volleyball and hasn't played a game yet this basketball season, but she would never sit out by choice. Hellgate's Matt Baldridge, a two-time Montana Gatorade Soccer Player of the Year and a Fort Lewis College recruit, faced a similar scenario and never questioned his unfortunate luck. Last year I um, hurt my ankle playing basketball and had to get surgery and missed quite a bit of soccer, but I don't really, I see it as if I get injured in that sport, it would happen in the other one. The athletes may not fear the added bumps and bruises, but that doesn't go for everyone especially the basketball coaches watching Worcester take hits on Friday nights. I always joke with him, like, run out of bounds, throw it away, slide. I can work with you on those things. <laughs> I can't work with you on the other finer points of football, but I could help you with those. Young athletes that put all of their work into one sport often do so hoping it will pay off and land them here, competing in college. But the coaches that hand out those coveted scholarships don't necessarily see specialization as an advantage. We really like to see the multi-sport athletes. I think it's good for them, the cross-training and just the, having the variety of coaching that they get. I, it seems like there is a little less burnout maybe in kids that have been involved in a lot of different sports. The MHSA and many of Montana's brightest young stars agree. In Missoula, Derek Berkeley, MTN Sports. Shelby Schwain still can't pick between her favorite sports or between her parents. She'll compete at Montana for both her mom, Shannon, the Lady Grizz head coach, and her dad, Brian, UM's track and field coach, next year.